being so loud. Hi guys, Ron and Will here. Um, Michelle's in the background. Uh, I'm gonna test out Rogue Legacy. Um, I've had this game for a while now. Um, played a little bit of it. Well, I've played quite a bit of it actually. Um, but I think that's credits. Okay, sorry guys. I'm. This is the first time I'm playing with a uh, controller. So uh, how do I go back? There we go. Confirm. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Whoa. Okay. Well. Again, still not what I wanted. All right, guys. So. I actually don't remember any of the controls. Um, we'll actually start a new game once I die here. Um, might take a little time. Or it might be right away. Again, I forgot all the controls. Uh, so for anybody who's never played this game, game it's basically it's a hard game that as you level up you're expected basically you're expected to die a lot um, the more you die the more upgrades you eventually can get and eventually you can beat the game uh, I have a whole bunch of upgrades on my characters already, as you can see. Like I said, this is just kind of relearning and also learning the controls with the mouse, uh, with without the mouse, because I actually only played this with uh, keyboard and mouse originally. So Michelle's in the background. Uh, she's watching anime. Not even YouTube. Um, there we go. Okay. Like I said, I'm beginning to remember how to play this game. So, let's see how we do. Oh. Okay. So, these rooms are special rooms. They have uh, special items in them. Uh, special chests and stuff. I think I pretty much cleared out these rooms in the early game. Um, and stuff that you clear out will stay cleared out. Um, these rooms all do change as you uh, die. So, like, obviously the main character is here, or the main, one of the villains is here. Um, Next time we go through, it will be in a completely different location. So, yeah. Uh, I'm still getting used to the whole recording as I play thing. So, please forgive me if there's a lot of lull, you know, uh, free time in between what I say and what I'm doing. I'm still learning how to balance that stuff. Uh, pretty much everything here is destructible. So we just uh, came back from Epcot and from playing mini golf. So keep an eye out for those videos. Uh, that was the mini golf was fun. We've we've gone and done Epcot before, so it's nothing special. Um, let's see. Uh, shit. 
I know this is probably boring for everybody because I'm literally at that point in this game where I'm just OP <laughs> as fuck. So, this is kind of just like a... Oh, you have to watch out for the uh, the spikes and everything. Uh, pretty much anything and everything can be an enemy. Including these giant paintings. Okay, so those are actually one thing that I cannot destroy. Are those uh, fireball thingies? Take no damage. Ooh. Oh, that failed. I forget how to activate those. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I'm almost dead. So once we're dead, we're going to actually start a new profile and uh, see how that goes. Ooh. Okay, so that's the that's another part of the castle. Um, this is actually where stuff begins to actually get hard. There we go, he's dead. All right, um, okay, so we are going to change profile. There we go. All right, guys. Sorry about that. My duty, my duties are well. My reading skills are apparently too low, but I'm a, I'm a loyal only to myself. Okay, so this is your intro. It teaches your basic controls: jump. A is uh, A is jump. X is swing your sword. Um, I think eventually you get your firepower. It teaches you the whole hold hold longer, jump higher. Why is it a weird color? It's a flashback. Why are you? It's watch your show. I can't. It's not playing. It's freezing. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, this is. This is a tutorial level. Um, shows you how to maneuver around the castle. And if I remember correctly, they basically just try to kill you off quickly after they walk you through everything. Okay, in air, hold down and tap X. There we go. So. It's a Castlevania style game where it like teaches you your basics and then throws you a curveball and tries to kill you. And I think this is where yep. Hooray, they go for the grail, but all the monsters oh okay, so what do we do? Wait, kill the king. I don't want to kill the king. I can't go any we're past. Okay. Dead. And that's the intro to Rogue Legacy. Alright, so let's start our uh, legend. You always start out with just a generic guy. Uh, <clears throat> so. These are warp points. Uh, as you locate stuff, you'll eventually be able to Access warp points. Uh, journal entry number one. Tre uh, treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent me... He has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of 
of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Alright, so we can view map. Obviously we have nothing. Uh, this is the layout here. And... Uh, there we go. Okay, so only drawback in this game is you cannot duck. I guess it's not really a drawback as it's designed that way, but As you can see, a lot less powerful than the guy I first was testing out. Um, ooh, there's a lot of these guys. I thought there was a... Each character I thought had, like... Um, well, again, it's designed to make you lose. Sir Lee has been slain by a guard box. And then underneath they give you some hints. Some classes have advantages over certain bosses. Okay. Oh, so this is the first video actually that you guys are going to be seeing that has my face. And Michelle to a lesser extent. Alright, so now from here you actually can choose one of your three characters or descendants. On the right, it tells you their abilities and their disadvantages. So, Lady Lisa, uh, class is a knave. Um, a risky hero, low stats, but can land devastating critical strikes. Her trait is dex, dex cro, I don't know. Your MP and HP pools are swapped. Um... Basically, it just means that if you have a lot of health, now you have a lot of mana, and vice versa. She also has the throwing axe as her weapon, as her magic. You have Lady Priscilla. She has two traits, uh, and she's a barbarian, a walking tank. This hero can take a beating. Um, OCD. Uh, must clear house, break stuff to re restore MP. So, she actually, even though it's a disadvantage, it's an advantage. You, the more stuff you destroy, the more MP you re regained. And oblivious. Uh, you've got two left hands and can't cast spells properly. Uh, that's probably not a good thing for somebody who gains mana. Um, and then she has a sickle, and the last one is Lady Chun Li, <laughs> also a barbarian. She has ADHD, so energetic. She moves faster, and she has tunnel vision, so no peripheral vision. That is a hindrance, and then some. So we're going to start with Lady Priscilla. Okay, so this is the the tree. Um, we're going to start building up. We unlock the blacksmith. And then from there we can start increasing stuff. Um, let's increase health. Um, we can't do any more there. So we can upgrade our knave to a knight. Uh, oh, sorry. Turn your knight into a paladin. Um, which gives him the block ability. Um, yeah, why not? We'll bring that up. Alright, so we don't have a knight right now, but when we, later on, you start unlocking those guys, we'll get a knight. Okay, so, then we can talk with this guy. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day, the monsters of this castle 
attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those prints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. Okay. At a price, of course. So, as we go, he has, of course, starting gear. But as we go, we can unlock new armaments. And then we have to talk to death. One must pay the toll. Give Karan all of your money and enter the castle. Uh, yeah. So as you go, you'll get more and more um, upgrades and stuff that reduce how much you have to pay him. Ooh, I don't like this already. Okay, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Sometimes you're better off just running. The beginning of this game is so slow because you don't really have much. Um, it takes quite a while to actually build up your your castle and everything else. There we go. So, casting the spell it just kind of goes random so okay there we go alright um, I'm probably gonna die real quick defeat all the enemies okay this might be possible or not. Again, low level equipment means low level chance of winning. Or chance of survival, really. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even get that much gold. All right. So, oh, oh, no, there we go. Okay, so we have the paladin now, a knave still. Flexible, you are very flexible. Nostalgic, you miss the good old days. <laughs> Nostalgic is kind of a funny one. It just changes your thing uh, into 3D, um, this, uh, into uh, classical. Uh, the... Sorry. Uh, the. What was this? The stereo blind uh, means you can't see 3D. I don't remember what that does. Pain. No, no pain. Okay. So the no, no pain means that I do not see my damage, how much health I have, which can be a pain. Um, we're going to try this one. Oh, I've got some health. Uh, some. Okay, you know what? Increase health again. I, I tend to like having a lot of health. So, confirm. In the beginning, again, it doesn't pay to really have any money left over until you start uh, really accumulating. Oh, that's what they mean by 3D. Uh, you don't see 3D. <laughs> you don't turn, like, it's a weird thing. It's funny. Uh, like I said, watch the paintings because they will come to life. Okay, so 
paladin has a shield, and so does the knights. I feel like I say that about all of the games I play. Mind you, I think it's more of I'm bad at this game because you're back to square one. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do a full let's play of this, uh, just because it's kind of a it's more of an experience game than a a uh, the game that you would play uh, for a let's play. So, all right, I I am going to end it here though. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and maybe next time, well, hopefully next time I'll do an actual uh, let's play with more commentary. All right, guys, catch you soon.